Subversion is a version control system. This begs the question, what is a version control system? Consider this problem. If you have a collection of files, source code for a piece of software, as you correct defects and develop new features in your software, these files change over time. Files may be renamed or move around the directory structure. New files and directories are created and old ones are deleted. As you make these modifications to your file system, you overwrite the previous content. So the files on your file system always represent the latest version of the software and older versions are lost forever. The obvious problem with this approach is that you might make a mistake. And if you do, the only way back is for you to remember what you changed and edit the files back to their previous state. This might be possible for recent changes that involved only a few lines of code in a few files. It becomes increasingly difficult to reverse a change as the number of files involved, the complexity of the edit, and the time since you performed the change increase. One way to record changes to files is to save a copy before you do each edit. This makes it simpler to undo changes because you can replace the files with a copy made just before you made the edit. With this scheme, you can still have the problem of recording all the files that you modified for a specific change, but at least you have older copies to go back to. You also have to remember to save the files before each change, an operation that's easily overlooked. Perhaps one way around this is to take a copy of all the files in the system just before making a change. This solution may be practical on small systems, but would become increasingly unwieldy as the system grows. The advantage of copying all the files is that you are less likely to forget to copy the individual files that you actually end up changing. The difficulty in this approach arises when you come to undo a change. You can't simply copy all the files from the safe copy because you will overwrite other files that have been changed by other changes. You need to identify what changed between revisions so that these changes can be selectively undone or reapplied. What happens if you want to recall a change from some time ago, or to remove a modification made many weeks previously? First you have to find the relevant set of files. Then you have to work out which files and directories were modified, and how. Then you need to apply these changes backwards to your current revision of the files and folders. This may seem simple, but what if one of the files changed has been renamed or moved by another change? You would need to look through every intervening change to be sure. And even then, how would you know the files had been moved and not simply deleted and a new file added? Now consider the situation in which you work with a team. You're each making changes to the code. Sometimes these changes will mean modifying the same source code. So, how can you manage this? You could all take copies of the source code, make your own changes, and then copy your changes back into some central file system. Of course, you can't simply copy all of the files back into the main copy, because you may overwrite submissions already made by your colleagues. What about controlling the versions in the main copy? Just as when you worked alone, you need to keep uh, old copies to make it easy to revert back if a mistake is made. How can this be reflected in the centralised file system? How can you avoid developers overwriting one another's changes? How can you keep older copies consistently and safely? When you make a change to the central copy of the files, all your colleagues will need to be told that they need to ensure that they have included your changes in their copy before they put them back into the central file system. Otherwise, they may overwrite the whole or part of your change. They may also make changes that are incompatible with your changes, consequently breaking the central copy of the source files. Alternatively, you can all send changes individually, sharing your changes without the central copy. This opens up the possibility of one member of the team accidentally putting part of someone else's changes into the central copy. This would obviously quickly become a major headache. Keeping track of all the changes, ensuring no one's work is lost or overwritten, and making sure everyone is working from the most up-to-date copies of code becomes increasingly complex as the number of files increases and the number of people making changes to those files increases. Subversion helps you manage all of these problems and more in a simple to use but powerful package. Subversion is a virtual file system in which you can manage files and folders through time. 
Each time you update a subversion with a new change, a new set of modified files and directories, a new revision is created in your subversion repository. These revisions can be recalled from subversion, so you can rewind the clock, undoing changes. Your teams can collaborate through Subversion, working separately but keeping up to date by integrating changes from Subversion to ensure that the whole system is working on an agreed set of files. Subversion takes all the burden of remembering what you changed in each revision and which revision each member of the team is currently working on. It also ensures that changes are integrated before they're put into the central repository, avoiding conflicting changes overwriting one another. <coughs> 